now with Adoption Awareness Month. And today we introduce you to the former athlete and now author, finding her forever family against the odds with a message of hope for others. The foster care system got involved in my life for the first time when I was three years old. They got re-involved again when I was 12 years old and then I stayed in until I emancipated the day I turned 18. I moved about every one to 10 months, but for various reasons, I just felt very displaced, unwanted. There were a lot of negative labels placed over me. So I wanted to prove and show the community, like I am a good kid. I started running track in the seventh grade. There was a track coach named Scott and he just became a part of my life. I would say that track became just like this place of escape because I didn't have to go back to my foster home. For me, I had to keep it at that coach-athlete relationship. But I was talking about it with my family, about the things that she was going through. My daughters overheard those conversations and actually came to me and suggested that Tori move in with us. So it wasn't even a matter of me asking them. It was them telling me it was, why wouldn't she move in with us at this point? So I graduated in 2014. Scott brought me into his home that same year, and then we changed my last name just three months later. My book's name is called Fostered, One Woman's Powerful Story of Finding Faith and Family Through Foster Care. I wrote the book for kids, youth, teenagers who were experiencing the foster care system to read a book that I thought I needed when I was in the foster care system. No, is this your mom? That's me, yeah. and who's that? Oh, grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, I go to my dad, Scott, so much. I'm like, our book hit a bestseller list. Like, it just feels like we're doing it together. And I, you know, I'm like, we're gonna be on Good Morning America. Isn't that crazy? For my current job, I speak full time. I get to share the story of what God has done in my life. At this meet, I won these medals. What I would tell youth in the foster care system or any youth experiencing something really hard is that it's gonna get better. The worst parts of your lives can be made good, so just keep holding on. And Foster it is available for purchase at your favorite book retailer. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.